Do you know a lot of stuff? Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, Jack has one, and her name is Devin. Who is Jack? Um, one of my brothers. Oh, he's such a cutie pie. Want to squeeze his cheeks and mess up his hair and squeeze his cheeks and punch him in the chest. Say, what's up, man? What's up, boy? Hey, go catch this ball. Throw him a football. Bow. Hit him in his chest with it so he can get tough. Yeah. Come here, bring me the ball back. Let's go. You want to go get a snack? All right, let's go get a snack. <laughs> one of your brothers. She's pretty, isn't she? Yeah. You like Devin, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. But she does, but Jack doesn't share her with me, but <laughs> Devin does. <laughs> 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 Don't clap her for me. <laughs> Jack, Jack doesn't share her with me. My man said his brother has a girlfriend and she's uh, and he likes her, but his brother won't share his girlfriend with him. That is cool. That is cool. Well, old stingy Jack. Old stingy Jack. Put the stop to that. <laughs> Jack is messing up, man. Yeah. This is really good. Hey, I've got some President Flash cards yeah. here, and I'm gonna hold them up. And then I and I say the names. You say the names. Let's see, who is that? Grover Cleveland. What do you know about Grover Cleveland? He was president two separate times. Two separate times? Yes. Did y'all know that? <laughs> in no way in the world you knew that. <laughs> so, it goes Grover Cleveland. Okay, now let me, let me ask you this right Grover here. Grover Cleveland. Who is this? Barack Obama. <laughs> Tell me, what, what's a fun fact about President Obama? He won a Grammy Award. How do you know that? Did he? President Barack won a Grammy Award. He won a Grammy? President Barack Obama won a Grammy before. Tell the truth. Y'all knew that? I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. This youngin' is sharp, man. He is yeah. so sharp. He is so sharp. Hey, take them looks off your face. He is so sharp. <laughs> I got a four-year-old blowing y'all's mind. Yeah, you do. It was the people checking me, trying, when? Brock ain't win, though. No. <laughs> yes, he did. All right, let me try this one right here. Got it. Ulysses S. Grant. Ulysses S. Grant. Yeah. That's who it is. Yes. If you listen. What, what, what can you say about Ulysses S. Grant? He got a beating ticket on his horse. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. He's just so sweet and, and smart. And he was like, he got a speeding ticket on his horse. How could you possibly know that? Who taught this young in this? At four years old, man. Come on, this, this is impressive. This is impressive. <laughs> Got nowhere checking that. <laughs> Why, okay, let me see if you know this from right here. Okay. Who's that? William Howard Taft. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. Do you know anything about him? He got stuck in the White House bathtub. <laughs> what? He, he got what? Stuck in the bathtub. Oh, he. He said the president got stuck in the bathtub. He got stuck in the bathtub. <laughs> because he was too big. How do you know so that? They replaced the bathtub. Hey, thank you so much for that message. That's dope, man. He got stuck in the bathtub. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I said, uh oh. Uh oh. What about this one? Look. Thomas Jefferson. Are you serious? Wow. He knows everybody. He, got he knows all, all, all the, the What do you know about Thomas Jefferson? He was not a very good public and speaker, but he was an excellent writer. He wasn't a good public. What? He's four, man. He was not a good public speaker, but he was an excellent writer. He's four. This youngin is... 
this youngin is going to be a president one day. <laughs> he he know too much about people study what they want to be. They study what interests them. And him, he knows way too much about presidents at four years old. He's even dressed up in his little cute suit. And he has all these fun facts. He knows everything about these different presidents simply by looking at a picture of them. Come on, man. He don't tell you stuff that you can go, well, you can probably find it in an encyclopedia. What's an encyclopedia? Okay, I just aged myself. Google is the new encyclopedia. He's a public speaker, but he's an excellent writer. Excellent he wasn't a good writer. public speaker. Wow. Well, you my man, I like you, man. Thanks. Yeah, because you, you're like like really the sharpest kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. No I said about I'm about it. it. Me and Tommy on the block, yeah. making it happen. We know the president's drop. Yeah. yeah. All right, let me see. <laughs> who is that? Look at that. Let me show you this. Look, who is this? John Quincy Adams. Who? John Quincy Adams. How does he know that? He said, How does he know that? Uh, <laughs> Martin Van Buren. English. He was a president? Yeah. My favorite English was his second language. English what? was his second language? Yeah. Did y'all hear this kid, man? He said English was his second language. This is the, who, who his parents, bless his parents, man. Lord, I wish I, man, do you know how sharp I would be right now if I had parents like that? Man, please, please. Y'all be like Barack Obama, who? It would have been President Van Hall. Trust me. If I would, if I had parents like that, nah, I probably wouldn't have been the president. But y'all would have known me for something. My face, my, my, whoo, my ugly grill would have been in the, in the movie somewhere. I don't know. It would have been somewhere. But, hey, this, this youngin is sharp, sharp. Second language. language. English was his second language? Yes. He said, see? Tommy, I'm impressed with you. I, 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 got, I, got a, I got a surprise for you. You're going to be the president one day, right? I want Hold on. Want to. Hold on. You're going to be the president one day, right? I want to. Did I call it or did I call it? What's up, One Tap Steven? Welcome. Did I call it or did I call it? He said, you're going to be the president one day. He said, I want to. You're going to be the president one day, right? I want to. Yeah. I said it. I said it. Hey, you ready? Come here, man. Look over there. Okay. So you can practice being president. What's up, Schmidt? Yay! That's cool. See, <laughs> this is Tommy for president. And this is a presidential motorcade, and when you take it home, it really works. You can really drive the car. Come on in here and get in and see what it looks like. <laughs> Come on over here. Okay. Yeah, get on in there, man. Get in the presidential motorcade. Okay. <laughs> he said, okay. Got it. Get in, man. Shut the door. Boom. This that's parents got to be so proud. He's ready to drive it. <laughs> hey, see more kids with extraordinary talents on my new show, Tommy, Little Big Shot, Tommy, Tommy Nights me. at 8, 7 Central on NBC. Hey, folks. That was dope. That was dope, man. I really enjoyed that joint right there. Yeah, yeah. Don't play with my man Tommy. Tommy is going to be president one day. I don't care what y'all say. Tommy will be president one day. And I'm going to vote for him. Huh? I'm going to vote for him. But I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. And if you want to have a voice in the channel, I would love for you to come over and join our Twitch live stream. Okay, that's pretty much all I have. Love y'all.